So on the way to the Needles District of Canyonlands National Park, we took a brief detour to the newspaper rock, which has lots of petroglyphs. It was used for over 2,000 years, but people kept adding to it, so there's a few more modern things here too. to Canyonlands National Park. Um, this park is actually divided into three different districts and we're only going to visit two of them because one, you really need a hardcore four-wheel drive like multi-terrain vehicle to get through. So this is the Needles District and just the drive in here has been incredibly gorgeous so we're really excited to see what's next. So we're here on the Cave Spring Trail. We're trying to get some hiking done before the clouds up here open up. And uh, the first interesting thing on the Cave Spring Trail is this cowboy camp that was occupied actually until 1975, which was after Canyonlands became a national park. Um, cowboys brought their stuff in here on mules and they grazed their cows out in the scrublands and lived a very simple and kind of rough life in this camp. So we're here on the Pothole Point Trail, and in addition to that gorgeous view over there that keeps making me look at it and go, ah, we also have some interesting uh, adaptations to life in the desert. Although it is more green here than it was in Big Bend or Saguaro, uh, water is still pretty hard to come by. And one place that there is sometimes water are these potholes around me in the rock, and these are a breeding grounds for insects and macroinvertebrates and other small critters. Um, unfortunately, they don't seem to be full of water right now, but Normally they are, and maybe we'll find one that's still high. Okay, so we found a pothole that actually has water in it, and it's super cool. The reason I'm lying down with my face practically in it is because there's all these little teeny tiny macroinvertebrates in there. There's definitely snails and definitely threadworms. Then there's some kind of nymph of some kind of bug that is scooting around looking like a tadpole. tadpole and it's pretty awesome.
over to another section of Canyonlands National Park. We're heading over to the Island in the Sky section, which is the most popular section. Unfortunately, it is raining right now, so we're not gonna do a nice video at the sign. And it is Sunday of Memorial Day weekend, and this is the line for the entrance. Despite the rain, despite the rain. showers we are pressing on and we're gonna take a short loop hike to Mesa Arch which is one of the most photographed arches in the park. Um, it's a little bit over a half mile loop and it should be pretty easy but hopefully we won't get struck by lightning. So the chunky grayish black parts of dirt over there are actually a very important part of this ecosystem. They're cryptobiologic soil and they are here um, because of little microorganisms and lichens and mosses that hang out in the soil. And even one footstep off the path can severely disrupt them, so that's why you stay on the path. So we're pressing on despite the rain and we're taking a short little loop to Mesa Arch, which is the most photographed arch in the park. <laughs> what does that help? Okay, sorry. <laughs> so despite 